One of the things that happened is uh, uh, there was a Professor Michael Rabin that came and gave a course at MIT, and he was just wonderful. He uh, wonderful thinker, and he had proved the theorem. And the theorem was that there are functions that are uh, that take that are hard to compute, that simply cannot be computed faster than a certain amount. And no matter what function you give it, what computable function you give it, uh, you can build, you can come up with a new function that can't be computed in that amount of time. Uh, he gave me the paper. The paper was missing the proof. <laughs> he, was, he was surprised and upset that he'd given me, when I later showed him, he had left out the proof. But the great thing for me is that I could spend several days thinking about it and eventually came up with a proof, really with the proof. So that, again, that's an example where you know you, you get somewheres by not being told the answer. By giving important clues. By giving clues, in this case, the statement of the theorem. And uh, once you have that theorem stated, then it was, it was Interest, it, the, the, the proof enabled me to think about something else, which was a, a question of how efficient, how efficiently can these functions be computed. And I wanted to have some notion of optimality. So, you know, there are many, a function can be computed. I'm thinking about a function like f of n, n is an integer, f of n is the nth prime. This would be a computable function. And I wanted to be able to have some notion of what makes, what, 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 how to define optimal program. Sometimes some programs are not optimal because they are faster programs. Programs that can do the same thing but faster. And I wanted to, and, and I wanted to have some notion of when, when is a program really about roughly the best you can get? When is it optimal? One thing I realized from it was that, in fact, uh, something very counterintuitive. Uh, that, for example, I'll, I'll give an example. Uh, you might say that uh, a, a, a function is optimal if there's no program to compute it. A program is optimal if there's no other program that can compute it. Uh, in just a log of the amount of time that this one takes. So if a program takes two to the n steps, the log of that would be n. So you might say it's optimal if you, there's no program that will compute it that much faster, that will just take a log. And uh, what I was able to show is, no, that that's, there are functions with the property that Whatever program you have for computing it, there's another program that takes is much faster and takes just the log of the number of steps. And that one's faster, and then there's another one that's even faster. It takes the log of that. And uh, I remember talking to Shmuel Winograd, who was really, really good, uh, and I said, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> and uh, he was really amazed also that there should be, that there should exist these, these functions that uh, simply cannot be uh, computed in an optimal way when you define it in, 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 this, in this case uh, using logs. So that, that, that was the speed-up theorem. The, uh, and this was the part of your thesis, the speed-up theorem? Yeah, it was, a, yes. it was an important part of it. How was it received? Uh, no, it was received pretty well. Once I had proved this theorem, uh, I could see that there, the proof relied on some very simple stuff, which I took as axioms, and then just proved the hell out of it. You know, used those axioms to prove as much as I could prove, and it gave a very nice theory. But this theory was very abstract and not very useful. I mean, it's kind of nice to know that they are, that it's hard to define optimal, that there's some a serious thing here going on that you can't define optimal. But uh, it, it, it didn't do what Steve Cook's 
PNP does, which was really using recursive function theory, the same recursive function theory, to get a real handle on the kinds of problems that people really are interested in computing.